Hey guys, I'm recording this video on March 25th of 2020, and this whole coronavirus situation seems to be getting worse and worse at the time. There are more and more cities and more and more states and countries that are going on lockdown because of this, and governments are forcing people to stay inside, and even the places where it's not forced, such as Tampa, Florida, where I live, it's not forced yet, and maybe in the near future, but even here, uh, we're being heavily advised to stay inside, and not go outside, not see friends, not gather into groups, etc., etc. It seems like the whole response to this coronavirus has been to cut off all of the things that normally make people happy and sane. And at the same time, they're spreading this environment of fear and panic. A lot of people are, are having terrible problems with anxiety, and the things that would keep us healthy are being cut off from us. So I wanted to make this video to explain how to stay mentally healthy and sane during this rather insane period of time. Okay, now like I said, I think all of the situation that's happening right now is going to absolutely wreak havoc on people's mental health. I've said before, and I still believe this, that the reaction to this disease is going to be a lot worse than the disease itself in terms of absolute damage. This is kind of the perfect storm of depression and suicide because, one, they're telling us to be afraid, uh, and we have this constant anxiety hanging over us, and two, we can't do the things that will, will make us normal, happy, healthy people. So I want to make sure that you, if you're watching this, are not going to succumb to this and are not going to turn out depressed and miserable, but you're actually going to come out on the other side of this even better than you started. So that's my prayer for all of us, and I have faith, I'm optimistic, that we're all going to get through this okay. Okay, now the first thing that you can do to stay sane during this insane time is to turn off the news and turn off anything that is making you more anxious and more miserable. So if you watch the news, right, the, the news is job. Their purpose in life is to spread fear and spread anxiety and, and create drama and make everything look worse than it is. So if you're watching the news, even if you believe that everything they say is true, which I don't believe at all, but even if you believe that, there's no reason that you should have to have that negativity constantly dumped into your head every single day. It just doesn't help you. It makes your mental health worse, and as a result, it makes your immune system worse. So if you're worried about catching a disease, that only makes it more likely that you're going to catch the disease. So turn off the news, and I also highly recommend you turn off Facebook if that's a big source of negativity for you, which it always was for me. I used to be addicted to Facebook for a long time, and it was always so negative. And Twitter and the various other social networks, you know, again, you be the judge of this. I can't judge this for you. I don't know who your friends are. I don't know what your friends are posting. But if Facebook, if the news, if Twitter, if any of this stuff is making you more anxious and more depressed and more miserable, just turn it off. There's no reason for you to know about all the negativity that is going on in the world unless you can be directly of help somehow, which in 99.9% .9 of cases you can't, so just turn it off. Don't do that to yourself. It's just self-torture, and it's going to make you go insane and possibly make you sick. Okay, the second thing that you can do to stay mentally healthy is to go out in nature and go out in the sun. Nature heals. Nature renews. Getting close to nature is like getting close to God, and sunlight has been shown as one of the most effective remedies for depression that exists, right? You know why people get seasonal affective disorder, why people uh, get depressed in cold climates during the winter. Well, it's because they have a lack of sunlight. And we're in the middle of March. It's spring. It's absolutely beautiful out, right? So take advantage of that. Go out as much as you possibly can. And okay, I'll give the obligatory disclaimer that if you're over 60 and or have immune system problems, then you should watch out for other people, you know, go out with a mask or just keep your distance from people or whatever you got to do. But get some sunlight. It'll make a big difference, both for your immunology, which vit vitamin D, which you get from sunlight, plays a huge part in that, and for your mental sanity. So get as much sun as you possibly can and make excuses for it if you have to. I mean, you just, if you're, if you're only allowed to go to the grocery store, then go to the grocery store every day and go to the grocery store across town so you get a 30 minute walk here and back. Or if you have a balcony at your house or you have a pool or even I have a three story parking garage and the, the last story is, is open so I can just go up there. So just find some way that you can get some sun without violating the laws and getting put in jail. 
And same thing with going out in nature. If there's a park that you can go to, or even just a, a nice neighborhood with a lot of trees, right? Or you can walk along the ocean. Whatever it is, find some way that you can do it. You know, again, without doing anything illegal, preferably, but find some way to get some sun and some way to enjoy nature. Okay, now the third thing is to meditate. I recommend that you meditate every day, maybe twice a day. This is so important during this time because there's so much negativity, there's so much fear, there's so much people fighting each other, right? I've noticed this, that people on social media are fighting each other more than ever over this coronavirus thing. They're all like hurling accusations at each other about, oh, you're selfish and you're stupid, etc., etc. And that is harmful for all parties involved. And it's really easy to get stuck in that fray. It's really easy to take offense when some scared, unthinking person hurls some accusation at you. You do not want to fall into that because that is going to destroy your emotional well-being. And what I've found is the more I meditate, the more I can rise above that kind of thing. The more I can just put it aside and say, okay, this person attacked me personally, that doesn't mean that I have to fight with this person. I, there, I'm no, under no obligation to participate in this negativity and in this fighting. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm gonna have a good day regardless of what this person does or regardless if this person insults me, regardless if this person disrespects me. There are a lot of emotions running very high right now, and the more you can distance yourself from those, the more you can disassociate yourself, the more you can take an elevated perspective on what's going on, the happier that you are going to be. So I highly recommend that you make yourself meditate every single day, even if it's a short meditation, right? If you've never meditated before, just search Google for guided meditation and find the shortest one that, that you find, right? Find one that's only five minutes and then, and then do it and make yourself do it religiously every single morning. Like make that the first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning. And it's difficult at first because you have all sorts of thoughts racing through your head, but the more you can just kind of force yourself or the more you can catch yourself rather and just focus your thoughts back on, on your breath or whatever it is that you're focusing on, uh, the better you'll get at it over time. I know it's difficult at first, but if you do it, if you commit yourself to it, I promise you it will pay enormous dividends during normal times and especially during this time. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, if you're finding it helpful and you think that it might benefit someone else, please go ahead and share it because there are a lot of people that need to hear this message right now. And I'd also appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button because it makes YouTube like me better and hit the subscribe and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos. Okay, now the next thing that you can do to keep your mental sanity is to be productive. You know, a lot of people are going to be tempted. They're going to be stuck in their houses and they're just going to sit on their phones scrolling through Facebook. Or they're going to sit in front of their TV watching Netflix. Or they're going to sit in front of their computer watching porn. Like I'm told that the porn sites are, are giving more material for free now. Right? There's going to be temptation all around you to do things that are destructive to your mental health. I'm telling you, don't give in to that. You're going to be tempted, but recognize that there is a lot of productive things that you can do even while you're staying at home, right? You can build a business from your computer. You can learn to become a digital nomad by taking Digital Nomad University, which you can t check out in the link below. Or you could read a book, right? There are a ton of books that will help you in every area of your life. If you look through my channel, I have a few reviews of books that I highly recommend that you, that you read because they will make your life better. You can call somebody that you haven't talked to in a while and rekindle a friendship, right? There's so many ways that you can be productive during this time and the more productive that you are, the more happy you are going to be and the better you're gonna be when you come out on the other side of this. There's gonna be a lot of economic difficulty as a result of this time. So the more that you can get done, the more you can prepare yourself now while you have all this free time, the better your life is gonna be at the end. Okay, now the next thing you can do is talk to friends and family. This is one of the things that is the most meaningful thing that, that you could possibly do in your life is talk to the people who you love and the people who love you. Now, if possible, of course, I recommend that you see them in person, which again, uh, depends on whether you're immunocompromised or you, know, you don't want to see your grandmother who's 90 years old because uh, you know, she's pretty susceptible to the virus, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know all that, right? 
but try to see people in, in person if they're not high risk cases. And if they are high risk cases, then talk to them on the phone, talk to them over Skype, over video chat. Just make sure you take some time of your day every day to talk to some people that you care about because that will make you feel so much better about the situation and it will make them feel better as well. Okay, the next thing you can do is to pray constantly. Remind yourself that God is there for you, that you're not just going through this alone, that this whole situation is happening for a reason. It's happening to make all of us better. It's happening to make our world better. And the more you talk to God, the more you reaffirm your faith in God, and the more you view the situation from 10,000 feet rather than, than being right in it, right? Because it's real easy to be afraid uh, it's really easy to get depressed, but the more you talk to God, the more, for one thing, he will encourage you, and for another thing, you'll recognize the grand scope of things rather than this tiny little period of this tiny little existence, which is just a speck in eternity. So pray for strength, pray for encouragement, pray that this situation makes you better, and pray for all the people around you. Okay, now the next thing you can do is exercise. And where I live, all the gyms are closed. And probably around the world, most of the gyms are closed. So if you're used to working out at the gym, you're gonna have to adapt a little bit, right? So uh, what I've been doing is I run every day. I run uh, in the morning, right after I meditate, and I run outside in the sun, right? So I'm getting my vitamin D, I'm getting my sunlight, I'm getting my, my time in nature, sort of. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm in the city, so it's not so much nature, but uh, you know, there's a little bit of trees and grass. Um, and then I'm, I'm making my body healthy. And then uh, in addition to the running, I do some calisthenics. So obviously I can't go to the gym. I don't have a bench press. I don't have any like uh, gym equipment in my home, but I can still do push-ups. I can do sit-ups. I can do pull-ups. I can do burpees. Right? There's, there's no reason for me to, to stop working out. There's a lot that I can do to stay in shape. And chances are there's a lot that you can do to stay in shape too. So figure out a new workout program. You know, Google calisthenics exercises if you've never done this before. Go running every day. And I'm terrible at running, by the way. I, I hate running. So I'm, I'm easing into this very slowly. Like my, my first day I started doing this, I only ran for five minutes and you know slow running and I was already winded because that's how out of shape I am so I've been just gradually going up like I'll do five minutes for a couple days and I'll do six minutes for a couple days and seven minutes for a couple days etc so again you don't need to uh, jump into this like into a really intense workout session every single day but just something is always better than nothing so definitely get your exercise. Next thing you can do is practice gratitude. This works in just about any situation where you have bad feelings. All you have to do is recognize all of the wonderful things that exist in your life, right? For, for me, this is the easiest thing in the world. It's like, okay, something is frustrating me. There is one thing that is going wrong, or maybe there's a few things that are going wrong, but guess what? I still have a place to live. I still have a warm bed. I still have food. I still have water. Um, I still have people who I love who love me. I, th it's a beautiful day outside. I live in an incredible place. It's like, uh, there are always going to be things that are going wrong in my life, uh, but if I look at all of the things that are going right, the number of things that are going right almost always is much bigger than the number of things that are going wrong. It's really, it's just a matter of focus. I get tempted to focus on the bad things and then I get completely blinded to all the good things that are all around me. So you can use some intention here and shift your focus from the bad things to the good things and I guarantee it'll make you feel better. Okay, and then the next thing is to practice goodwill towards others. Whoever it is around you, just feel good feelings toward that person. You don't even need to do anything. I mean, it's good to do things and you'll get to that point eventually, but if that's uncomfortable for you, just, just feel something good. Just wish good on the people around you. You know, think about your friends, think about your family. If you pass somebody on the street or you see somebody in a car, you know, say a quick prayer for that person that they will be healthy and happy through this difficult time. That will make you feel better and it will make them feel better. 
And then of course, if you actually do stuff for other people, then you're taking it a step further. If you find a, a homeless person who, you know, homeless people are having a really difficult time right now. So find a homeless person and, and give them some food. Uh, you know, find somebody who, who's totally freaking out about this and, and give them some peace, like pray with them. Do, do something, share this video with them so that they can get out of this crazy mental state that is literally destroying them from the inside and increasing their chances of getting sick. And even if somebody curses you, somebody tries to say that you're stupid or selfish or all these insults that people are slinging at each other, if you can have goodwill for that person, then you are unshakable. Your life is going to be amazing. You're going to get through this with no problem. And when it's all done with and everything's back to normal, then you are absolutely going to thrive. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd also recommend you check out this video where I show you my whole system for staying productive, which is very relevant right now. And so watch that video, share this video if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.